Hey everyone, so this is my Amazon Influencer Chrome extension, Sortio. With this Chrome extension, you'll have the ability to do product research very, very, very fast for the Amazon Influencer program. You'll have all of the important details that you need to know uh, before you buy a product right at your fingertips on the search page. You'll have a table that pops up and you'll have some incredible features on the back end in your Creator Hub dashboard as well. So. Um, this is in the beta. This will be free for a limited time as we're testing through the beta. And if you guys are interested in uh, using it, I'll have a link to it right when it goes live over in my uh, Amazon Facebook group. So if you're not already in that, make sure you check that out. I'll have the link posted in there for when this goes live. So I'll go in through all of the features. There's a ton of features here, whether you're uh, new, whether you're an advanced person in the influencer program. There is a lot of things jam packed in here and we plan on continuously updating this and continuously uh, just taking your feedback and trying to make things a lot better. So the main thing on why we wanted to make this was um, the product research side of things it just takes way too long sometimes. It's very time consuming, uh, trying to click through each individual listing, trying to see if there's any videos applicable. There's just a ton of things that goes into it. So I wanted to build something that would have everything here at the fingertips, ready to go, easy to spot out immediately. And that's exactly what we have here right now. So with this, I'll go in through some of the features here. Now, the best thing about this is this is all here directly on Amazon. So we're not going through any other website. You don't have to download any other things. This is strictly through the Google Chrome store. You add this extension and you're free to use it on Amazon, basically any web page so far on Amazon. So things like the best sellers page, new releases, today's deals, and we're working on a few other ones, but the search pages work too. And like I said, this will be continuously updated um, throughout the months, weeks, years. Uh, hopefully it is years with this program, but let's get into some of the things here. So we've got video carousel immediately on the search page, which this is obviously going to be the most important thing for um, product research and when you're going to buy those products. Obviously, they used to have a video carousel. So here immediately, it'll give you either a check mark or a red X on whether or not there is a video carousel. Now, this is only applying to the upper carousel as of right now. The upper carousel is what's most important. So that's what I've uh, what I've set up here on the main page with this here. If you do have a video carousel, you're going to be shown how many influencer videos are currently on the page. And because uh, right now it is only five total that are allowed, five merchant, five merchant, uh, five influencers, there is a total of four, which means that there is one spot available for the actual listing. So this would entail probably be a good product, but then we'd have to click on it and just do a little bit more research, which we'll also go through. So uh, same thing uh, as you scroll down, you can just see that everything pops up here as you search. You can search anything on Amazon and this table will automatically pop up. I'll show a demonstration of that as well. Uh, but to make our lives a ton easier, we went ahead and added a feature here where it basically gives you everything on this listing. As you can see, 65 products popped up when I searched Halloween decorations. And now we can easily sort through this table without having to scroll through each individual product and reading each individual thing, we can sort here and make our lives a ton, ton easier. So here you can sort by high to low or low to high, all of these things through all these different um, columns. So rating as well, you can search through price, you can sort through influencer commission, you can sort through affiliate commission because they are a little bit different depending on whether it's on-site or off-site commission. But I typically like to search through influencer videos and search from high to low and then I start to scroll down and see what's available. So as you can see, this one here is an 1169 product. It's got four influencer videos, which means that there is one video spot available. But this one here has two spots available for us. This one here has three spots available for us. And this is all directly at your fingertips. You do not have to scroll through each thing. Everything is right here. I can quickly see how much influencer commission I can get from this. This is a $59 product. And let's just go ahead and click on this because you do have the product here. You can immediately click it. You have a little picture here to show you what's going on. And with all of these features, you can also hide them. So in case you don't want the affiliate commission, you can hide those. It'll make your table a little bit uh, less packed in there. So whatever you don't want, just go ahead and hide it. Whatever you do, just go ahead and click it and add it there again. Close that back up. But like I said, let's go ahead and find that product that we were just on. It just went away because I did that. Um, I believe it was this one here. So this one says it has two influencer videos. Um, three available videos. So let's see. 
and it looks like so far that might be true let's go ahead and click on the video here and yeah so it's got two influencer reviews and actually both are from the same person which is even better because uh, whenever there's uh, multiple videos from one Amazon influencer Amazon will typically give up one of their spots and allow you to come in if it was a six or if it was a full video carousel they would likely allow you to come in and take over one of the uh, influencers that had multiple videos so once you click on the listing it basically gives you a lot of that same information that you had originally on the search page down here uh, when we close the table here a lot of this information that you see here will also be on the actual listing page which is also very beneficial so that you can quickly see all of these things like the uh, best seller rank on its different categories if it's available the date that it was first added to Amazon and then a lot of the same things like Amazon influencer commission affiliate commission whether it's in low stock or not and same thing here you can also go ahead and close out some of those um, boxes if you don't really use them and closing them out might even help load it a little bit quicker because it's less that um, the extension needs to try to uh, load in for you guys so um, that's pretty cool but it doesn't stop there there's a ton of other things and I'll show you guys a live demonstration like I said so um, let's go ahead and go here uh, before we actually do that I do want to say so um, there, uh, Amazon does have its own filtering section. So right now I have it on featured, but what you could actually do is sort by their best sellers. Now this is where it gets even crazier. So look at this 30,000 per month, 10,000 per month, 10,000 per month, 10,000 per month. All of these are Amazon's best sellers. And you can do the, those exact same things based on what you searched. It'll show up here. Just change that filter. And you can see, we'll click on this little graph or table icon. We'll get our table to pop up and we can do that exact same thing. This is already preset as to what we had at last. So it's already filtering from high to low. So we'll keep scrolling down until we find some open spots. I typically like to go from uh, the three, uh, three influencer videos, two influencer videos, one influencer videos, because then that gives me more opportunity. Um, so let's go ahead and check this one out. It says one influencer video, but it only has 17. So maybe we'll skip on that. Um, but let's go ahead and click this one here although I'm gonna open it in a new tab for now but I want to show you guys something real quick so uh, this is Zoof this is another tool that just kind of backs um, how many how many actual products are sold here on this page and you can see Amazon's not lying to you these are their best sellers the lowest here being about 28 per day so even that is not really bad so that's actually a really, really good deal up to 1,400 on this actual page here. So their best sellers page is actually their best sellers page. They're not lying to you. Now, I wish we can have that integrated here into the extension and hopefully we can in the future. We're working out some ways. But as of right now, I just want you to know that every best seller page that I've gone into, I've used my Zoof extension and back tested that these are their actually best sellers. There's usually like like what it looks like here. Anywhere from low 20s all the way up to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 sometimes per day. So as long as you switch here onto their sort by best sellers page and then pop up this table, you can pretty much guarantee that this product is sold a lot daily. So this is the one that we had opened up in a new tab. You can see it's $6.99. So it's not, it's not a crazy price and you won't get a crazy commission, 16 but keep in mind, this is a holiday type product, so it, it will be selling like crazy uh, within the next couple of weeks as Halloween starts to creep up on us. And like I said, there it shows you how many influencer videos, how many slots are available, and you can see that it confirms that here. So there's three open spots available for us to actually get into the listing. So this is very, very, very useful. Now, in case we don't want to search something um, very low priced, um, let's go ahead and search up like a treadmill. So we'll do this here live. Treadmills are usually expensive. And let's go ahead and do this. We'll go from sort by to best sellers. And then we'll pretty much wait for our extension to load in here and we'll be ready to go. So right when one loads in, you can already click that uh, table. And then slowly these will start loading in here on the bottom left. You'll see that it starts kind of creeping up little by little, depending on how many products are on the listing. It may take a little bit longer, but usually at about uh, 30 seconds, you have the majority of the page loaded in. But we can already start sorting this from high to low. And for example, this one was already at a four. So let's click this one here. Um, it went away because it loaded in there. Come on, let me click it. There we go. So, so we'll click on that one, the Sparex. 
Wow, look at this. Okay, and this one is a best seller. This one is a best seller, y'all. Number one best seller, and we can see that there is one video slot available. A best seller in a, in a um, category like this that's so popular should not have an open spot available. Wow, that's that's very wild. So um, it's got a $4 commission, so we can definitely crank up some sales here. Because it's on the best seller page, you know that this is going to be selling really, really well. But if you want proof, I'll use my separate um, Zoof extension. And you can see 300, almost 400 daily sales per day of a product that's $4 commission. That is very, very wild. So you can see the magnitude of this extension here. It is absolutely crazy. Very, very, very useful. So uh, like I said, not only can you use it on search pages, stuff like that, you can go over onto your best sellers from directly on Amazon and it'll pop up on here as well. Just give it a second and then we'll go over some of the Creator Hub features that, that we have so far. And we will continuously add things to this extension. And let's see here. So same thing here. Now you can click on the actual page and whether or not there's um, open availability, you can see here, I can go ahead and preset that from low to high or high to low and just scroll through trying to find products. Uh, because these are not fully separated, it's like showing you from uh, different bestsellers. So unique finds, home and kitchen, you can click here, see more, it'll take you to that. And then that's when you can really see a specific category as you can see here. And then you can basically do that same thing once all these products start loading in. So um, it works on the bestseller page. You just got to give it a second to load. But let's go ahead and move on to the Creator Hub dashboard feature, which is very, very useful. And I know a lot of people are going to get a ton, ton of uh, benefit from it. So the most important thing is that when you're selling a high, uh, high profitable item and you're getting a ton of conversion on an item, you want to make sure that your video does not go away. Um, and if it does, you want to know immediately so that you can possibly make changes or upload a new video to try to get back on that carousel. So what we did was we added a placement feature. Now, with this placement feature, right when you load your uh, Creator Hub dashboard management video page, this placement tab will start loading in. And this will tell you the, the uh, product that you tagged whether or not it's on the actual listing. So you can see it says none, which means that for this video, um, my video is not on either the upper carousel nor the lower carousel. Uh, this one here, you can see it's on the upper. And what we did just to make this easier is you can actually sort it through um, all your none. So it'll show you all of your none on this page. Each page, you'll have to reload it. It'll show you on anything on the lower, which right now Amazon currently doesn't have a lower tab and all of your upper, as you can see here. So you can sort it that way. Typically, I like to go into my none because I want to see what's the competition like for this product. Why is my video not on here? Is there a video on here that I can probably make better than that one and try to take their spot? So for example, we'll go here. We'll click none because we do have the link embedded into all of these here. So once it loads in and once it tells you whether it's none or upper, you'll be able to actually click this here it's a clickable link and you'll be able to go directly onto the product that you have tagged. So um, now here quickly, we can see that um, for this product, it's none because this seller doesn't have videos for it. So I, I previously, I knew that there was a lower carousel, but since right now Amazon removed it, uh, there's no video on here for now. But you can see how useful this is for, for backtracking and seeing um, what how your best sellers are doing. You can go from um, high views to low views and see how that loads in. So uh, when it fully loads in, what you'll do or what it'll look like is I'll show you here. So you'll see it's, it goes into like a little checking phase. Give it about maybe five to 10 to 15 seconds and then all of them will start loading in. Uh, but you can see little by little, they start going down the page. It'll tell you whether or not it's actually on your um, upper, none or lower. And like I said, you can sort through all of these. So. It is a very, very, very useful tool here. I'm very excited to share this with you guys because it is going to be so helpful in the product researching phase of um, Amazon Influencer Program. So go ahead and test this out. It'll be live beta for the, about the next week or so for free. And then it'll be very, very affordable afterwards. So very excited to share this with you all.